Hey guys, it's Casey. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing great. I am here today with a what's in my travel make it bag video. Now I've done several of these, um, usually just when I'm going on vacation, but I thought I would do another one because I'm so excited about a trip that I have coming up this weekend. I'm going to LA IMATS and I'm so excited. I've never been to California. I'm going to be like one of the Clampets. I mean, really, it's going to be like the Beverly Hillbillies all over again. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> I cracked myself up. Um, I thought I would do another travel make it bag video and show you what I'm going to take when I'm like going for like a makeup event. Because usually it's when I'm going to the beach and I always say, oh, I don't wear that much makeup, but I still take a lot. I am actually going out there with one of my best friends, Kristen from Beauty Moxie. Um, you all are like, you two again. But She's also doing her travel make it bag video for what she is bringing to IMATS. And so I'm going to link her video below. Go check it out. I cannot wait to watch it. Um, well, we'll actually probably already be there by the time it goes up. So I'm so anxious to see what she's bringing. We've talked about it a little bit, but really excited. And so if you guys are going to be there, um, if you see me or her, the other one is probably like within, you know, a five foot radius. So uh, we'll be there together. I'm so excited to meet her. I cannot wait to meet her finally. Um, and just everyone else that I talk to on YouTube, like I cannot wait to finally meet them and hug them. And all the people that I've watched all these years since like 2008. I'm so excited. Let's start out with the face. Other than like my moisturizer, well actually I do have a moisturizer here. I'm going to bring Max Strobe Cream and this is just like a little travel size. So I'm bringing that because I love the finish that it gives. And my favorite foundation, Revlon Color Stay Whipped. I have to have this. Um, I'm going to need like full coverage. So that's what, this is the foundation that I count on for giving me full coverage. And it's very long wearing too. Um, I'm bringing a few concealers. I'm going to bring my CoverGirl and Olay Corrector for my bags and my dark circles. I'm, of course, bringing my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one I have here is uh, NW20 because I'm going to self-tan before I go, so this will be good for that. Uh, for my face, in case, oh my gosh, I break out, which I'm going to have things to cover anyway because I'm always broke out. I'm going to bring Laura Geller The Real Deal. This is in medium. This is a very full coverage concealer. Um, I'm bringing my MAC Prep and Prime Light Boost Pen. I love this thing for some extra highlighting. Uh, to set my under eyes, I'm going to bring my e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. I really like this stuff. It's super duper thin and very smooth under your eyes. For powder, again, for really full coverage look, I'm going to bring my MAC Studio Fix powder in W25. Um, for just if I want an all over bronzy look and not really to contour, I'm going to bring my little Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer and look I finally hit pan you all have been using this bronzer for so long like it has lasted I mean I've used it on a daily basis for like months and I just now hit pan on it it's crazy and then for a more of a contour I'm gonna bring NARS Laguna just this tiny little one great for travel and for a highlighter you know I can't leave the house without Mary Luminizer from The Balm this is my, probably my favorite highlighter. I love it. And then for um, a few blushes, I have another one that are depot, like a few more that are depotted, but I'm going to bring Tarte Doll Face for a really pretty matte pink. I'm going to bring, of course, my favorite, yeah, probably my favorite blush, Milani Luminoso for a shimmery peach. And another one of my favorites, I'm going to bring the Balm Frat Boy, really pretty peachy pink. Um, and then to set everything, I'm going to bring my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. So, next I'm going to bring my Z palette. I have a couple more blushes in here. Okay, a few more blushes. <laughs> I'm going to bring, these are all from MAC, and this one is Peaches. This one is a matte peach. Melissa, uh, Mel MPHS. Um, traded this. I traded her lipstick for this. So um, 
it just like reminds me of her and uh she's one of those that like oh my gosh i can't wait to meet her um margin which is like a really shimmery well not really shimmery but it has a sheen um uh, like peachy bronzy color and then not that i need another contouring shade but it's in here so i'm just gonna bring it i'm gonna bring harmony <laughs> And then uh, in my Z palette, I have mainly Makeup Geek, MAC, and a few Milani shadows. But as you can see, they're all just very neutral. Um, this is just my thing. It's just my favorite kind of look, what I'm most comfortable in. Uh, I'm just going to be doing like bronzy, smoky eyes or like light gold or just really, really neutral because that's what I'm comfortable with. So bringing that... Uh, of course, I've got to have my Milani eyeshadow primer. For eyeliners, um, I'm going to bring this one by Mally just because, um, and this is a black one. This is an Onyx. I'm bringing this one because it lasts the longest in my waterline because it's a very, very dry formula. So I like that. And then also for my waterline, I'm going to bring my Rimmel Scandalized Pencil in Nude. And for my upper lash line, I'm going to bring this Physician's Formula eye booster just like a liquid eyeliner in black for my eyebrows i'm gonna bring my favorite this is from femme couture i got this at sally's beauty supply and uh this is just a pencil in blonde it's the perfect shade for blondes you all if you haven't tried it go get it it's very taupey and cool toned i'm also gonna bring an eye base this is a jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in eternal white and that way I can really highlight the inner corner there too if I want to. And go over it with Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer. See, I've got it all planned out already. <laughs> and then I have to bring, of course, my Tarte Eyelash Curler. This is my favorite. Um, Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. And, of course, my e.l.f. $1 eyelid primer uh, to put on my eyelashes before my mascara. It makes a huge, huge difference. My lash glue, I'm bringing um, Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive and my favorite lashes, Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. Uh, okay, I think that's it for that. For lips, oh my gosh. I've had some really dry, um, chapped, flaky lips lately. So um, that might happen out there, especially on an airplane. I get My skin gets really dry. So I'm going to bring my EOS Lip Balm. Um, I don't remember which one this one is. I think it's like Honeydew or something like that. It's just the light green one. And my e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I am obsessed with this. This works amazing. So got to bring those two. I'm going to bring two lip liners. Um, just shades that I know I'm going to wear just because, like I said, it's what I'm most comfortable in. So they're actually both from Rimmel. How funny is that? The first one is, uh, it's just called Natural. And it's literally just pretty much your lips. Maybe a little bit on the brownie nude side. And then Easton Snob is just like the perfect pink for anyone. So bring in those two. For lipstick... I'm bringing my favorite lipstick ever. Like out of all brands, this is my favorite lipstick. It's from MAC and it's called Peach Blossom. And it is just, I just can't even get started on it. I can't say enough good things about it. I love it. Mm. And then also from MAC, I'm going to bring Cream Cup in case I want more of a pink. And then I'm also going to bring this Urban Decay lipstick in Naked if I want just a plain old neutral. Um, and I'm also going to bring this. Um, I've just recently got this. This is from Revlon, and it's one of the Color Burst Lacquer Balms. I think they have matte and ones with more of a shine, and this is a shiny one. This is called Demure, Demure <laughs> sorry, and I'm actually wearing it right now. I think it's really pretty. It's just like a light nude pink, and um, the reason I got this was my friend Emily from Lisette's Beauty. I saw her wear this in one of her videos, and it looks so pretty on her. It actually, it looks better on her than me, um, 
but whoops I'll link her channel below if you don't know who she is. She's super duper sweet. Love her. But um, yeah, she was using this and it just looks so pretty. And she said she liked the feel of it and everything. So I had to go out and get it because I'm just a copycat like that. And I really do like it too. So I'm going to bring that with me. And for glosses, I'm going to bring my NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. I hope I'm saying that right. But um, you all, I love this color. I've had it for a while and I only recently used it. How sad is that? But um, for just a really neutral lip, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the Butter Glosses anyway. Just the texture and everything is just amazing. So bringing that, I'm bringing this NYX uh, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Perfect. This is basically clear. It has a little bit of tint to it. But it's extremely, extremely sheer. But the reason I'm bringing it um, is because it's the perfect topper for really any kind of lipstick that you just want to add a little bit of shine to, but you want to keep the color. So that's why I'm bringing that. And I'm also bringing my MAC Lip Glass in Angel. This is just a true pink, and I absolutely love it. So I'm bringing that, and then uh, the last lip product I'm going to bring um, is because I was talking to Kristen on Voxer the other night. Well, she was talking to me, and we were talking about what we were going to bring and everything, and she was like, you know what would be so pretty in LA is that Armor Lip Gloss, and she's talking about this one. So I'm bringing mine, Kristen. You better bring yours, and we can totally be twins. It's called Cat Club. <laughs> And it's just a really pretty, kind of bright-ish pink. Uh, perfect for a bold lip. If you want to do like a really simple neutral eye and a bold lip, it's so, so pretty. Um, it's really thick. Uh, it's more like a liquid lipstick than a gloss, really. So it has really good staying power. It's not so thick that it's uncomfortable at all. It's very... Oops, sorry. It's very comfortable on the lips, so... Um, yeah, she mentioned that, so I'm going to let her know I'm bringing it in case she doesn't want to be twins because, I mean, I know I'm not very cool. So, um, I know this video is so long, but let me show you the tools I'm going to bring. I'm going to make it real simple. I'm bringing my Beauty Blender, and I'm bringing my Sigma Make Me Cool set because very easy to travel with. You just snap this onto this. It has every brush you could want, but of course, I'm going to bring along a few extras, including the F80 for my foundation and also the NARS Itta brush for um, some more serious contouring, since we're going to probably be taking a lot of pictures. Um, so anyway, that is what's in my travel makeup bag that I'm bringing to LA IMATS. I'm so excited. I really um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know how many of you are going, but I really hope a lot of you are, and yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. So, I will be sure to do a haul when I come back, and um, you know, I'm going to like take a bunch of pictures and stuff. So, follow me on Instagram. I will be Instagramming probably, uh, you know, the whole time. So, I'll leave my links down below along with uh, the girls that I mentioned. And so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week and a great weekend, and I will see you later. Bye.